Now to date, we have never farrowed pigs here on the farm. We have always purchased piglets at weaning, kind of like these 12 here. These come from three different uh, litters actually born all around the same time. They're purebred Berkshires and we raise them out. Um, we did roughly, I don't know, 20-ish. I can get the exact number, but I think it was around 20, 25 pigs this way last year. We bought them as piglets at weaning, raised them out, and sold them all to customers at half of the holes. Kept a couple for our own freezer, a few for mom's freezer, uh, etc. <laughs> So here's our, what we affectionately call collectively as our mamas, though none of them have ever been mamas and our boar. Now he, he is a proven boar uh, when I got him. Actually, some of the weanlings that I got were, uh, he was the father of. Now this one here, this is the one and you can see she's already starting to show some kind of some symptoms of or some bagging up a little bit uh, there on her teeth on the bottom of her. Uh, if everything goes as planned, she will have her babies probably in the next week or so. The three weeks, three months, oh no, sorry, three months, three weeks, and three days puts her due in the next week. Now we turned the boar out, if you saw that video, to both of these two at the same time, but she is not showing the, I guess the development. They both look like they're putting on some weight, but she is not showing the one in the back there, the signs of, you know, the, the bagging up, which again, this is our, our first time fair one, so we don't really know what signs to look for other than that. Um, and then, and that's Junebug and Liberty Bell are the, we give them names, that's the names of them two. And then Burton, uh, Burton our Berkshire boar. Uh, and then Wilma actually joined like a month later. The ideal situation would be have some piglets two months later have some more two months later have some more so that they that they um scatter they kind of spread out from the from the sale phase but you know we may not be that uh fortunate we'll take them now the plan is these are these mamas are purebred mule foot um pigs which is a heritage breed which we're actually quite happy with but We'll probably try to sell some of those off as piglets. Again, never sold piglets before, but we'll sell some of those piglet off as piglets and keep some to raise out, sell, and have some holes. But now Wilma here, uh, she's a purebred Duroc. She actually, I say kind of rescued. We bought her from a, I guess, a production house. As you can see, she has no tail. Uh, her ears are uh, notched accordingly. So she came from a production house four hours or so north of us. And again, bred with him. Uh, we will probably keep all of those piglets and breed and sell, keep those for halves and holes, unless, you know, somebody's just really interested in 
some piglets uh, off of those. I don't know. We're just, I've been real pleased uh, with what we've seen from the meat from a Duroc um, slash uh, Berkshire cross. We'll see how it plays out.